At the end of this video, I'll let you know how I think of these masks from Innisfree. I will also share with you a much better alternative brand in the same price range. So please stay tuned. Hello everyone. Welcome to Sydney's Favourite Things. If you're already part of my YouTube family, a very warm welcome back. If you're new to my channel, thank you for coming by and I hope you like this video enough to subscribe and join our YouTube family. Today's video is the rent review of my real squeeze sheet mask from Innisfree, which is a very popular Korean skincare company. We all know that um, Korean skincare products are all the rich at the moment. We even have their boutique stores in all of our shopping centers in Melbourne. I discovered the benefit of adding the sheet mask to my skincare routine over 10 years ago and it was a game changer. I now mainly use the affordable skincare product with the weekly maintenance from the sheet mask. It has saved me a fortune over the years and my skin feels better than when I was in my younger years. Another reason I love the sheet mask is because you pretty much find out whether it'll work for you after one or two applications. So you don't need to waste your money and time on those products that promise the world but never deliver. This is my very first video on the sheet mask review at the start of this channel over a year ago, in which I talked about a few of these sheet masks and I did not recommend them then. But I have come across so many people who like the masks, so I decided to give them another try. I'm now ready to share with you my honest opinion on these masks because I've used them, every of them, twice. I have the entire collection of 12 of them and they $2 each. I'm going to rank them from my least favorite to my most favorite, just like I did for this ranked review of Dr. Jar's entire sheet mask collection. At the end of this video, I'll let you know how I think of these masks from Innisfree. I will also share with you a much better alternative brand in the same price range. So please stay tuned. It said on their website that the sheets of these masks is made from 100% biodegradable Euclid's fibers with an easy peel design that adheres to the face gently and delivers the concentrate effectively. Also, the masks are infused with the freshly squeezed ingredients using the cold brew squeeze process, which slowly extracts nutrients at a low temperature to capture its full benefits for nourishment boost. And because our skin condition can change from day to day, this range of sheet masks are tailor designed to suit what the skin is craving at the time, so you can customize your care regime accordingly. Sounds really nice, isn't it? We'll see. They are available in three levels of hydration. These bamboo, green tea, tea tree, and rose are the refreshing water type. These cucumber, aloe, manuka honey, pomegranate, and fig are the revitalizing essence type. And these acai berry, rice, and ginseng are the luxurious cream type. Now let's get started. The first one, which is my least favorite from this collection, is this uh, cucumber. This is a revitalizing essence type. Claimed to be enriched with the fresh moisture from cucumbers to replenish moisture on dry skin. The sheet of this mask felt really cheap. Uh, the fit was okay but it didn't do anything, not even straight after. The second one is this acai berry. This is a cream type, claimed to be enriched with abundant nourishment of acai berries, leaving the skin looking resilient and full of life. I reviewed this particular one in this sheet mask review video over a year ago, and I maintained the same opinion on it. The sheet felt better than the cucumber, but the fit was terrible. Although the cream base did give a bit more luxurious feel, but it did absolutely nothing to my skin. The third one is this tea tree. It is a refreshing water type. It claimed to be enriched with a refreshing tea tree, leaving the skin looking clean and clear. The sheet felt good and the fit was okay, but it made no difference to my skin. 
maybe I didn't have any redness um, at the time when I was using it, but I'd say it definitely not as good as this uh, tea tree mask from Medihill. The fourth one is this Manuka honey. It is again a revitalizing essence type, claimed to be enriched with abundant nourishment from Manuka honey, replenishes moisture on dry, rough skin. Again, the sheet felt cheap. My skin felt a bit softer right after, but it didn't last long. Number five is this ginseng. It is a cream type. Claim to be enriched with abundant nourishment from ginseng, making tired skin look moisturized and healthy. The sheet felt good, the fit was okay, and the cream base made me feel a bit more luxurious. But again, it didn't do much. Maybe it made my skin feel a little bit softer right after, but not for long. Number six is the rose. This again is a refreshing water type. Claim to be enriched with the moisture from roses, leaving the skin looking smooth and radiant. The sheet felt good and the fit was average. There's plenty of serum in the pack, but it didn't do much. My skin did look a bit more radiant uh, right after, but it didn't last long. Number seven is this rice. It is a cream type. Claim to be enriched with the rice, making skin look clear and transparent. The sheet felt okay, the fit was okay, and the cream base did give a bit more luxurious feel. On top of that, it made my skin tone a little bit more even. Number eight is this aloe. This is a essence type. Claim to be enriched with the aloe helps to relieve tired skin. The sheet felt good, also good fit. Although my skin didn't feel soft, it looked more even toned in the morning. Number nine is the pomegranate. This again is a essence type. Claim to be enriched with the juicy pomegranate to leave the skin looking radiant. This one actually did what it claimed to do. My face looked rosier and brighter right after. The next morning, my skin tone looked very even, but it didn't feel very well moisturized. Number 10 is this green tea. This is again a refreshing water type. Claim to be enriched with the fresh moisture from green tea. Keeps dry skin moisturized. Again, the sheet felt cheap. The fit was okay. I didn't feel much difference at the time, but when I woke up in the morning, my skin tone was much more even and felt reasonably soft. I'm quite surprised about the result. I didn't have much expectations on this one. Number 11 is this bamboo. This is, um, again, a refreshing water type. Claimed to be enriched with the abundant moisture of bamboo. Leaves dry skin moisturized. It comes in the same cheap sheet. Didn't do much to my skin tone. But when I was washing my face the next morning, my skin felt very soft. So it's very moisturizing. Now we are getting to my top pick. Number 12, the fig. This is the most interesting one. I did a review on this one over a year ago in this video. At the time, I didn't like it. But when I tried it recently again, I felt completely different. This again is a, a revitalizing uh, essence type. Claimed to be enriched with the rich vitamins, thoroughly squeezed from figs, makes dull skin look smooth and clear. Again, the sheet felt cheap. That's probably why I didn't like it in the first place. But this time around, it made my skin felt very soft and look very even toned in the morning. In fact, I think this is the best out of the whole lot. Probably the only one out of this collection that I would repurchase. That's the end of this review. Although I like this fit, the masks from this brand are very average overall, in my opinion. I did promise to share with you a better alternative in the same price range. Here it is. This is the Wong Jin effect. Their masks also cost around $2 each, but they are way more superior in terms of the quality of the sheet, the fit, and the result. I talked about this brand in my second sheet mask review in this video over a year ago, and I'll leave a link below for you to check out later. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if this is your first time here. And I look forward to seeing you at my next video. Thanks for watching.